Now let's talk about how to get and maintain your remote pilot certificate with an SUAS rating. To apply for a remote pilot certificate, you must be at least 16 years old and be able to read, write, and understand the English language. Although the FAA may make an exception to this for medical reasons such as having a hearing impairment. You must also be in a physical and mental condition that would not interfere with a safe operation of an SUAS. In other words, you have to be healthy. If you don't have a current manned aircraft pilot certificate, you must pass the initial remote pilot certificate knowledge test. That's what this course is preparing you for. Once you've studied this King course, you'll be ready to take the FAA's SUAS knowledge test. The test must be taken at one of the many certified testing centers located throughout the country. It's easy to locate a test site and test information. Just go to the FAA's website for UAS operations and search on a topic. You'll find links to testing centers, FAA requirements, application forms, and much, much more. You can also find testing centers near you by going to iacra.faa.gov. This is the FAA's Integrated Airman Certification and Rating Application System, otherwise known as IACRA. When you get to that site, you'll find instructions on how to use this site. Plus, when you scroll down, you'll find special instructions for remote pilot applicants, including a link to an Airman Knowledge Testing Center list. Then, once you have passed the knowledge test, you should go back to the IACRA webpage to complete your application online. And while you're at it, download the FAA's free app, Before You Fly, to your mobile phone. It will come in handy when you go flying. Once you've completed the application online, you'll be vetted by the TSA. When that's done, you'll receive an email telling you to print and sign your temporary certificate. And then you'll receive your permanent certificate in the mail. Now, when you get through all of this and get your certificate, you can exercise the privileges of your remote pilot certificate for 24 calendar months after it was issued. So if your certificate was issued on September 9th, then your certificate is good until September 30th, 24 calendar months later. You get until the end of the month. And to keep your certificate current after that time, you will not have to be retested. You do not need to take another test. But you will have to take, pass, and be able to show proof that you have completed the FAA's online recurrent training program. Just visit faa.gov UAS for more information.